Hi, good evening. Hello. Good Hi. evening. Hi, how are okay. you? Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. What's your name? Uh, Maria. Maria. Hi, Maria. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And I have another Maria. Hi, Maria Elena. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me Mari. <laughs> ah, Mari. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, Mari, where are you from? I'm from here, Santa Ana. Oh, really? Yep. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. And you? I I I am I am from Metapan, but I I I work in Santa Ana. Oh, really? Uh huh. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Pedro. How are you? Oh, fine, teacher. <laughs> I little forget my class. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I, I can see that you almost forget. <laughs> Okay, teacher. How's everything, Pedro? Mm -hmm. uh, good. <laughs> I feel good. Did you practice any English during these these two weeks? Sometimes uh, with my with my son, but ah, okay. Uh, they they uh, uh, have best English <laughs> because the performance is a good in this moment. Okay. Nice. And I am the I am the student and and, and they and they are the, the, the teachers. <laughs> ah okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. So nice to see you, Pedro. Yes. Let's see. Uh Maria Elena. Hi Maria Elena. Hi, teacher. How are you? Oh fine. And excellent. I'm fine, thanks. Nice to meet you. My name is Dennis. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the same for you, Mari. My name is Dennis. So nice to okay. meet you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see. We're waiting for a couple of people. Vamos a esperar un un par de minutos a sus compañeros. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, hay que relajarse, tomar un poquito de agua. <laughs> Trata de no dormirse. Trata de no dormirse más que todo. <risa> María Elena y María es primera vez que nos acompañan en, 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 en línea. No, ah, yo estuve en el otro grupo, en el intermedio 2, pero de 9 a, de 9 a 10. Ah, ok. Pero, ajá, pero ya, no, Dios, no, mucho. <risa> Me costaba muy tarde, entonces, sí, pues sí. ahora a lo mejor la puse de 8 a 9. Y... Ah, ok. Estamos más okay. despiertos aún, sí. Sí, sí, qué bueno, perfecto. Muchas gracias. ¿Y María Elena? Sí, es primera vez y ah, pues okay. me pusieron en este nivel. I don't know. <risa> muy, ¿Es muy poquito Pero, o mucho? <risa> no, es mucho. Están súper avanzados, creo, no sé. Yo recién inicio y retomo el curso y no sé, me van a ayudar. Pero, pero ya habías tomado un curso de inglés antes. Hace varios años. Ah, ok. Pero lo pudo terminar, ¿no? No, estuve un, un año. Un ah. año más o menos. Ajá. Entonces, básicamente el nivel, bueno, no, el nivel más, el básico. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Terminé el básico. Bueno. Ok. Ya a ver que no va a ser tan difícil. Okay. Ah, ok. <risa> Don't worry. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Nice to listen to you again. Uh. I'm back. I'm back. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're missing. Um, I think we're missing a couple of people. Yeah. ¿Ya pudieron entrar a la plataforma, chicos y chicas? No, todavía no está el módulo 3, creo yo. Todavía no, no le han mandado correo. No, de activación de cuenta, yo... 
Ajá, pero no, yo no lo puedo, no puedo entrar. ¿De verdad? Uh -uh. ¿Qué le sale cuando se mete? O sea, solo me sale el módulo 1 y 2. Ajá. Pero ya no me sale el módulo 3. Hmm. Ok. Um, ¿Y todos no tienen el mismo problema o hay alguien que sí ha podido entrar? Uh, yo creo que sí, por, entré, era el uso del tongue, el, del tongue, el however, however uh -huh. and bad and... Sí, um, eso, eso, eso es lo que vamos a ver en, en las próximas clases. Uh, okay. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Only, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces se ha podido entrar. Sí. Yo sí, porque quizá es porque como es, es primera vez que los acompaño. Ah, proba probablemente, como no, no ah. tenía los cursos anteriores, ¿verdad? No. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿Y los yo demás no qué? los tengo. Ah, okay. Solo tengo acá el módulo 1 y el módulo 2. Ah, okay. Pero de ahí ya no, ya no tengo activo el 3 aún. Ok. Y lo mismo Pedro, no tiene activo el tercero. Ya no volví a ingresar, teacher. Entonces, ah, no sé si, si ya lo habrán arreglado o qué. Y yo ahorita ah, okay. no, no he probado porque ahorita como siempre la clase la tomo del celular. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. no lo he puesto en la otra aplicación porque si la pongo en el mismo celular, eh, ya no ya no puedo estar haciendo la Entonces, quiero ver si lo activo en el otro celular o aquí en la computadora. Pero en el trabajo yo ingresé pero siempre aparecía módulo 1 y 2. Me imagino yo que no hay una, quizás no, no se ha hecho bien la actualización en el sistema, no sé en qué es uh -huh. nada. Uh -huh. Sí, igual okay. bueno, a mí, no, no, no me aparece. Uh -huh. Lo okay. reportamos, piche. Sí, de hecho, este, ajá, eso les iba a mencionar, que si pueden en el, en el chat, o si le pueden mandar un mensaje a Jonathan, que es la persona encargada, tal vez se los puede activar. No sé, tal vez Bye. un error, ¿verdad? Pero... Pero sí, este, igual, si sí, sí, hay que estar pendientes de los correos electrónicos, probablemente uh -huh. ahí está el detalle. No se han de haber mandado algún otro, algún otro, ya la algún uh -huh. otro detallito por ahí que no que estemos moviendo, pero sí, sería bueno de reportar. Uh -huh. Así que vamos a ir viendo cómo se ¿Ok? Así que, no problem. La primera parte está bien fácil, así que no, no se aflijan. ¿Ok? <risa> Hi, Margarita. Nice to meet you. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Dennis. Okay. And hi, Luis. Luis, are you there? No, he's not there. <laughs> okay. So, bueno, mientras, creo que se nos van a pedir un, un par de personas más. Uh, Uh -huh. Una vez más, eh, uh, nice to meet you all. My name is Dennis Gonzalez. I'm going to be your teacher for this module, uh, the pre-intermediate three, okay, module number three. And uh, I'm so happy to be with you again. I know a couple of you, so that's nice. Okay. I know, uh, for example, I know Saida, I know Pedro, and I know a couple of people more, so... I'm so glad to be back with you. Okay, en nombre de Inglés Corporativo, le damos las gracias por confiar en nosotros y por, por seguir en este proyecto. Eh, sabemos que el, el tiempo en nuestro trabajo muchas veces nos, se nos hace difícil el, el, eh, el poder estar en una clase presencial, pero tienen una motivación para poder estar acá. Así que eso se agradece eh, demasiado. Eh, les recuerdo que siempre traté de trabajar en la plataforma antes de la clase. En este caso, como hemos tenido un par de dificultades, creo que se nos va un poquito, pero voy a tratar de ir este, mostrando los ejercicios que vamos a hacer para que a la hora que usted pueda tener acceso, eh, no le cueste y no esté perdido. Que vamos a hacer, ¿okay? Así que eh, vamos a ir conociéndonos poco a poco. Como le mencionaba, ya conozco un par de personas por acá pero a la mayoría no me los puedo. Así que probablemente lo vamos a tener que ir conociendo poco a poco. ¿okay? Um, un, par de, un par de reglitas nada más para la clase. Eh, voy a poner todos los, todos los, eh, todos los audios eh, apagados. ¿okay? Solamente para que no tengamos ningún tipo de, interferen de interferencia. Perdón. Y este... 
Cuando usted quiera participar, únicamente vuelve a activar su micrófono, ¿ok? O levanta la manita. Hay una opción para poder levantar la manita en, uh, en Zoom, ¿ok? Y automáticamente yo le doy la palabra. Así que no tenga pena. Usted me interrumpe cuando quiera, ¿ok? Si, si es para alguna pregunta o algo, ¿ok? Igual, si usted no entiende algo, me detiene, teacher. Dígame, teacher, espérese, explíqueme, ¿ok? Porque yo por veces me, me emociono. Así que este, eh, tenga toda conf eh, confianza de detenerme cuando no ha entendido algo. Trate de hacerme las preguntas que crean pertinentes. Y pues para eso estoy acá para ayudarles. ¿okay? Así que thank you so much. Eh, vamos a iniciar. ¿okay? Um, do you have a notebook and a pen with you? Or a piece of paper? Okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. So you need a piece of paper or a notebook and also a pen or a pencil, okay? Because we are going to play a, 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 a game that you used to play maybe when you were in, when you were at school, okay? Well, probablemente han de haber jugado esto, okay? Se lo voy a mostrar ahorita. El juego se llama Stop the Bus. En español sería así como bachillerato stop. Ok, así que en su cuaderno o en una página necesito que escriban lo siguiente. Que escriban estas categorías, ok. Name, last name, object, fruit or veggie, which is vegetable, ok. Fruit or vegetable. Eh, luego, verb in the past, ok. Verb in the past, ok, el verbo tiene que iniciar con la letra que yo diga y tiene que estar en pasado, ok. Luego un adjective, solo para que más o menos se acuerden muy rápido, un adjective es algo que eh, describe a una persona, ok. Puede ser apariencia física, personalidad, incluso los, este, los adjectives pueden eh, describe a person. A place, an object, ok, puede describir a varias cosas. Country, que sería país. Y al final, el total, que sería la letra T. Total, ok. Total. Así que vamos a hacer una pequeña prueba solo para ver cómo andamos, ok. Y este, espero jugar con esto por lo menos unos cinco minutos con ustedes y luego continuamos con la clase. Y el día de mañana podemos seguir jugando, así que no voy a perder la página. Ok. Así que las reglas son muy fáciles. Voy a decir una letra y usted empieza a llenar todas las categorías eh, usando únicamente la letra que yo diga. Por ejemplo, si digo la letra C, tiene que buscar un nombre con la letra C, un apellido con la letra C, okay? un objeto con la letra C y así sucesivamente. Dígame, Margarita. Permítame, permítame. Ajá. Excuse me, teacher. Es uh, the final. What is T? Ah, total. The total. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, the, at the end, we're going to have some points. Okay. Some points. So, remember, fruit or vegetable. Okay. It has to be in English, not in Spanish. Okay. In English. A uh, verb in the past. Okay. Not in the present. Remember, in the past. An adjective is a word that we use to describe a person, an object, uh, or a place. For example, I can say uh, beautiful. Beautiful is a word that we use to describe a person. Okay, beautiful. So that is an adjective. And a country. Okay, a country. The name of the country has to, has to be in English. Okay. For example, I know that in Spanish it's Estados Unidos. But in English is the United States, okay? So you need to think in English, okay? You need to think in English. And when you finish, okay? When you finish, you need to say, stop the bus, okay? Active su micrófono cuando termine. Y tiene que decir, stop the bus, okay? Si no dice stop the bus, pues todo el mundo va a seguir y puede ser que le roben alguna letra, okay? O alguna palabra. La idea es que cuando alguien diga stop the bus, ya no, ya no siga, ¿ok? Y vamos a ver quién tiene más puntos al final. 
Okay, are you ready? The first letter is letter S. S, okay? Let's do it, S. When you finish, you need to tell me, stop the bus, okay? Stop the bus. Mm -hmm. Remember, when you finish, activate your microphone and tell me, teacher, stop the bus, okay? Stop the bus. Remember the words have to be in English, okay? Not in Spanish, in English, okay? In English. <laughs> I see some faces thinking and thinking. Yes. Teacher. Yeah, difficult, I know, but you need to think, you need to think. Uh -huh. You need to see all the vocabulary that you know, okay? Remember, it can be a fruit or a vegetable, okay? Only one, fruit or vegetable, okay? And the verb has to be in the past, okay? The verb has to, it has to be in the past. I think that Pedro has a really nice group helping him. <laughs> he has all his family members helping him. <laughs> Even the dog, maybe, right? Where is the dog? <laughs> okay. Okay. 15 seconds more. Okay, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11. Take a bus. Stop the bus, okay, stop the bus. So Pedro said stop the bus, okay? So everybody, let's see. I will activate your microphones. Stop okay. the bus. Okay, stop the bus, yeah. Okay, I will activate your microphone. If you have the same word, si todos uh -huh. tienen la misma palabra, only five points, okay? Solo pueden okay. tener five points. Si usted tiene una palabra que nadie más tiene, pues son ten points for you, okay? Ten points. Okay. Okay, let's see. Pedro, what's the name? Name Stuart. Stuart, okay. Margarita? Sandy. Sandy, okay. Excellent. Sandy. Okay, excellent. Maria Elena? Maria Elena, hello. Oh, hi, hi. Sara? Sara, okay, perfect. Mari? Sandra. Sandra, okay. And Luis? Saul. Saul, okay, perfect. So 10 points, okay? 10 points for everybody, okay? 10 points. Let's see, last name, uh, Pedro, last name. I, I prefer that Tony is a Stark. A Stark, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tony Just, Stark. Yeah. Tony Stark. Yeah, Tony Stark. Stark. Tony Stark, with that's a, acceptable, with, yeah. With the comic, with the comic <laughs> iron. <laughs> Yeah, excellent. Okay, let's see. Uh, Maria Elena? Simon? Simon. Uh, okay, I will accept it. Okay, Mari, what do you think? Sandoval. Sandoval. Okay, Luis? Salazar. Salazar. And Margarita? Sprinting. Okay, excellent. So 10 points for everybody. Okay. Now let's see. Object, Pedro. Um, a stone. A stone, okay. Mari, object. Rock. Object, sand, arena. Sand, yeah, excellent. Margarita. Salt. Salt, uh-huh. Luis? Salt. 
Sorry, I don't have anything. You don't have anything? Don't worry. Okay. Uh, and Maria Elena, what do you have? Shoes. Shoes. Excellent. Okay. Shoes. So 10 points. And uh, Luis, sorry, you're going to have zero on that category. Okay. Only on that category. Uh -huh. Let's see. Fruit or vegetable? Pedro, what do you have? Uh, fruit, uh, strawberry. Strawberry, Ooh. excellent. Mari? Yes. Strawberry too. <laughs> strawberry, so five points, Pedro oh, yeah. and, and Mary. Margarita? Soha. Soha. Soya. Ah, soya. Soya. <laughs> mm, is soya. that a vegetable? Vegetable. Legum le legumbre. A legumbre, okay. okay. Maria Elena? Strawberry. Strawberry, five points then. And Luis? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have this? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. No problem. No, no. Okay. Let's see. Verb in the past. Okay. I need to listen to the good pronunciation here. Let's see. Pedro. Studied. Studied. Okay. Mari. Salt. So. Okay. Margarita. Studied. A study, five points for a study, okay. Please. Uh -huh. This verb in the past. So. So, okay, so five points for so. And Maria Elena? Save. Said, okay, excellent. Yeah. Said, uh huh. Okay, so 10 points for you, okay. 10 points for you, for the sad. And then saw, five points. And uh, studied, five points, okay? Adjective, let's see, Pedro, adjective. A strong. A strong, okay? A strong person. Mary? Um, sad. Sad, okay, perfect. Maria Elena? Oh. Excuse me? Oh. Sad. Small. Ah, small, sorry. Okay, small. Margarita? Slim. Slim, okay, perfect. And Luis? Swing. Swim. Yeah, swing. Swim swing. is a verb, it is not an adjective. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to write zero, okay? Because swim is a, is a verb, uh-huh. All right, and the last one, country, Pedro. It's Spain. Spain, okay. Luis, what country do you have? South Africa. South Africa, okay, perfect. Uh, Mary? In Switzerland. Switzerland, perfect. Margarita? San Francisco. Ah, San Francisco is a city. It's not a country. Yeah, San oh. Francisco is a city. Yeah, sorry. And Maria Elena? Spain. Spain? Yeah. Okay, five points for Spain. Okay. Yeah. So, now you need to take out the total, okay? What is the total? Okay, get the total. And now we're going to play with the last letter, okay? The last letter for today. Oops, that's not the letter, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? All right. The last letter for today is letter M. Go, letter M. One more time, name. Last name, object, fruit or vegetable. And when you finish, you need to say stop the bus. Stop the bus. Remember in English, not in Spanish, okay?
Okay, when you finish, you need to say stop the bus. Okay, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Okay, Mary, mm -hmm. so stop the bus. All right. Let's mm -hmm. see. No more writing. No more writing. Let's see. Okay. Mary, tell me name. Mary. <laughs> Mary, okay, excellent. Okay. Pedro, name? Uh, Mia. Mia, okay. Luis, name? Maritza. Maritza, okay. Margarita? Margaret. Margaret, and Maria Elena? Uh, Marta. Marta, excellent. So, everybody? You have 10 points, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, Mary, last name? Martinez. Martinez, excellent. Margarita, last name? More. More, uh -huh. perfect. Pedro, last name? Martin. Martin, okay. Luis? Mojica. Mojica, and Maria Elena? Morelos. Morelos, okay, perfect. 10 points. Let's see, object, Mary, object. Uh, mailbox. Mailbox, excellent. Pedro? Mountain. Mountain, okay, perfect. Margarita? Museum. Museum, excellent. Luis? Moon. Moon, and Marilena? Mountain. Mountain, okay, so five points for mountain. And then the rest, 10 points. Fruit or vegetable, let's see, Mary. Mango. Mango, <laughs> excellent, yeah. Margarita. Uh, melons. Melon, Pedro. Mango. Mango, Ooh. five points for mango. Luis. Melon. Melon, five points for melon. And Maria Elena. Mandarin. Mandarin. Okay, excellent. Mandarin. Uh -huh. Mandarin. Excellent. So 10 points for you, Maria Elena. And the rest, five points. Let's see. Uh, verb in the past. Let's see. Mary. Made. Made. Excellent. Uh, Pedro. Made. Made. Five points for made. Luis. Meant. Excuse me, one more time. Meant. Meant. Wrong. Okay. Mean. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Margarita? Meant. Meant. And Maria Elena? Uh, magic. Magic. No. Magic. No. Magic. No, no, that's not a verb. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's, that's zero. Okay. And meant you have five points, okay? Mm, yep. Okay, let's see. Adjective, uh, ma, ma, Mary, sorry, ma, Mary. Uh, yeah. Mel <laughs> sorry. Melancholic. 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 Yeah. Nice, melancholic. Uh, Pedro. Mean. Mean, okay. Margarita. Middle age. Middle age, excellent. Middle age. Uh huh. Luis. Anything. Missing. Don't have anything. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. And Marielena. 
Move it. One more time. Move it. Moved. Move it. With ed at the end. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's an adjective. Okay, moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also a verb, but it's also an adjective. It depends on the case. Mm -hmm. And Mary, the last one, country. Uh, Mexico. Mexico. Pedro. Mexico. <laughs> Five points, okay. <laughs> Margarita. Marruecos. Marruecos, okay. Uh, Luis. Marruecos, too. Okay, and Maria Elena. Mexico. In Mexico, okay. Also, we have... We have Mongolia. Mongolia, we. We have. Uh, I think it's the only one. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So don't forget that page. Okay, keep it somewhere. Keep it in your notebook or somewhere okay? because we're going to continue playing tomorrow. Okay. So if you see in this game, I was using adjectives. Okay. We're going to use adjectives in this class, okay? And before we move to that part, uh, we're going to practice one conversation, okay? So listen to me, please. Uh, we have a conversation between Eric and Carmen. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's fairly big, it's a, fair, it's a, big, uh, sorry, it's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Can you see any new word, one word that you don't know? Please tell me and I'm going to tell you what the answer is, okay? We have a lot of adjectives and words that probably you know, okay? So tell me one word that you don't know, one word that you, don't, that you have never seen before, that maybe it's a little new for you. For example, let's see. You know what? Farley. Excuse me. Farley, teacher, is a fairly big city. Ah, fairly. What? Yeah, fairly. Pardon? It's like um, fairly. It's like a little big city. Mm -hmm. Fairly. Okay. A little mm -hmm. big city. You know, like, uh, or a little, or you can say fairly, um, fairly new. A little new, okay, fairly new, that's a synonym. A little. Okay. Uh -huh. A little. Uh -huh. Do you know the okay. meaning of, yeah, no problem. Uh, do you know the meaning of reasonable? Reasonable. No. No? no. Okay. Prices are pretty reasonable, okay? Son eh, bastante razonables. Razonables, okay? Mm -hmm. Como que no es muy caro ni tampoco muy barato. Es como que, ah, sí, se ve bonito. Se ve que está más o menos, ok, reasonable, ok. Reasonable, razonable. And I know that most of the times we use pretty for uh, appearance, you know? Like a woman is very pretty. But in this case, we're going to use pretty for another thing, ok. We're going to use pretty for another thing. In este caso, vamos a usar pretty, pero lo vamos a combinar con adjetivos, okay? So, can you tell me the adjectives that we have in the conversation? What are the adjectives that I'm using here? Mm -hmm. Big. Big, uh-huh, another adjective. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fant fantastic. Excellent. Another. Nice city. Nice. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. Great. Great. Excellent. And pretty is not an adjective. 
Uh, no, in this case, pretty is something different. Uh -huh. If we okay. are talking about a person, you know, uh -huh. uh, in that case, yes. For example, my sister is pretty, okay? I can say that. In that case, yes. But in this case, it's something different. And that's something that we're going to see. Okay. Uh, reasonable, it's, it's an adjective, okay? Personal, okay. reasonable. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so those are some adjectives that we are using. Today we are going to learn how to use adjectives and adverbs, okay? So we're going to see how to do the two of them. So just for you to remember, adjectives, they describe people, objects, and places. Sometimes they can uh, also describe animals, um, yeah, etc. okay? Anything that you can describe, an adjective can describe it. For example, beautiful, uh, you were telling me also, oops, you were telling me big. What's the opposite of big? Small. Small, uh-huh. Also we have reasonable. Tall. Tall. Angry. Angry, uh-huh. What about an object? How can I describe an object? Short. Yeah, short, uh-huh. Tall. Yes. Tall, yeah, we have tall there. Yes, sir. Yeah. We have also new, old, okay. When we are referring to objects, for example, new cell phone, old cell phone, okay, and etc. okay. We have many other adjectives there, okay? Also, we have adverbs, okay? And usually, uh, adverbs modify verbs, okay? That's why they are called adverbs, okay? Because they usually modify an adver a verb. Uh, they sometimes modify an adjective, and this is what we are going to see today, okay? How to modify adverbs. Sorry, how to modify adjectives using adverbs. And you're going to see that that's pretty easy, okay? And also sometimes they can modify other adverbs, okay? Um, and I'm going to give you some examples about this, okay? Sometimes they answer the question how, okay? When you want to find, uh, when you want to find the, the adverb, you need to make that question. For example, if I say I drive, you know, I drive my car, okay? How do I drive my car? Okay, I can drive my car fast. I can drive my car slow, okay? So I am describing the action that I'm doing that is driving, okay? So that's why they are called adverbs, okay? For example, um, I speak English. How do I speak English? Ah, you speak English fluently. You speak English perfectly. Uh, you speak English nicely, okay? You speak English uh, bad, okay? I don't know. You can have any other word there, okay? And I have some examples here. For example, she sings beautifully, okay? She sings beautifully. This is the, ad, ad, uh, the adverb, okay? She sings, how? Ah, she sings beautifully, okay? She sings beautifully. Um, in this case, uh, the adverb is going to be very, okay? I am very tall, okay? I am very tall. Very is the adjective in this case. You can say, I am tall, but how tall? Oh yes, I am very tall, okay? Very, very tall, okay? I drive fast. How do you drive? Ah, I drive? Fast. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, most is a uh, adverb. Which one? Sorry. Most. Uh, oh, most or much more. Most. Ah, most. Adverb. Oh, more. Oh, more. The, the most better than. Ah, uh, yeah. Well. Mm, if you say the most, uh, the most beautiful person, the most beautiful person, 
in that case, it becomes a, a, an adjective. Because for example, if you have, uh, my mother is more beautiful, okay? More beautiful than my sister. More beautiful is the comparative okay. adjective. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a comparative uh -huh. adjective. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, good question, okay? Good question, okay? Now, there are, there are some words. Uh, that we can use for describing or for uh, including two adjectives, okay? Two adjectives. So this is what we are going to see right now, okay? So I have this sentence. It is cold. It is cold. In your house, what do you think? How is the weather in your house? The house. weather is hot. <laughs> okay, the weather is hot. Okay. In my house, it is a little cold, you know? What about in your house? In my house, is cool and warm. Cool and warm. Okay. Yeah. Is it windy? You know? Is it windy? In your house? People? Maybe on the night. Ah, maybe at night, right? At yeah. night. But in the day, no, right? <laughs> in the day, okay. no, it's so hot. Okay. I know, okay. So what is the adjective in this case? In my sentence, it is, oops. In my sentence, it is called, what is the adjective? The adjective is called. Okay, it's called, okay, perfect. So uh, this is the adjective, I'm going to put it in this call, okay? Now I'm going to tell you how to write the same sentence, but using an adverb, okay? And what I'm going to do here is very simple. I have the subject, that is it. I have the verb, that is is. Then I'm going to include an adverb, and I have the adjective here that is called, okay? So I'm going to have an adverb in the middle, okay? In the middle. Let's see two examples. It is very cold. It is a very cold night. Okay. Do you see the difference there? I can say it is cold. Eh, you know, very simple. But if I went, if I want to intensify the action or the sentence, I can say it is very cold. It is very. It is a very cold night. Okay. Because I have the subject. I have the verb. I have the adverb that is very in this case, and I have the adjective, okay, the adjective. I am just including uh, another word. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between the sentence number one and sentence number two? Who can tell me? What are the differences between this sentence and this sentence? Um, like, um specific it's night cold ah okay yeah exactly okay sentence number two it is very specific i am saying night okay over here i'm just saying it is very cold mm, but what time in the morning in the afternoon or at night okay in this case i am being a little a little bit more specific okay what about what about in your house is it very cold or very hot in your house? Is it very cold or very hot in your house? Very hot. Very hot. Okay. You can say, uh, in my house, it is very hot. Or, in my house, it is a very hot night. Okay, a very hot night. Okay. Algunas personas casi siempre cuando usan esta oración siempre me dicen, it is a very cold. Okay. Casi siempre solo dicen esto. Lo voy a cortar solo para que vean. Okay. Si usted me dice, it is a very cold, a very cold que me lo deja como incompleto. Okay. Entonces siempre tiene que meter algo ahí. Por ejemplo, it is a very cold drink. It is a very cold night. It is a very cold uh, 
bedroom. It is a very cold house. Okay, cualquier cosa que sea helada. It is a very cold uh, coffee. Okay. Pero si solo me dice, it is a very cold, me queda como debiendo el objeto. Okay. Ahora, en la primera oración, si no quiere usar a, así está bien, sin, sin usar la a. It is very cold. Okay. Entiendo que se, a qué se refiere. Okay. Está helado. Okay. No sé, tal vez en el contexto yo sé qué es lo que está helado. Okay. Pero en este caso, solo se me pone la letra a, ahí ya me tiene que poner algo más. En este caso sería night. Okay. Night. Vamos a ver otros ejemplos. Okay. Yo sé que ahorita en su casa no está, o puede ser que esté un poco helado, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos otras palabras para, 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 para aportar al adjetivo. ¿Qué serían estas? Extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, and somewhat. Okay. In this case, it is from the extreme, you know, the best one, the top, and it goes like this to the bottom. Okay. So extremely is like, wow, it is extremely cold. Okay. It is extremely cold. Okay. Extremely is like this. It is very cold. It is going down. It is really cold. Okay. It is pretty cold. It is fairly hot. Cold, sorry. And it's somewhat cold, okay? Somewhat tendría ser como más o menos, okay? Somewhat, okay? So vamos a repetir. Extremely. Somewhat. Extremely. 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 Mm -hmm. Very. 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 Really. 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 Pretty. 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 Fairly. 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 Somewhat. 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 Entonces aquí está de lo más extremo y va bajando hasta lo más o menos. Ok. Entonces todos estos son adverbs. Estos son adverbs que usted puede utilizar a la hora de hacer una oración en la que está usando un adjetivo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I know that right now it is hot in your house. But how hot? In my house, it is fairly hot. What about in your house? In my house, it's pretty hot. Ok, perfect. In my house, it is pretty hot. Another example. Azul. In my home is uh, really hot really night. Hot. Uh, ah, it is a really hot night. Excellent. Uh -huh. In my house is fairly cool. Fairly hot. Cool. Ah, cool. Okay, perfect. Cool. Fairly cool. Uh -huh. Another person. How is the weather in your house? In my house is friendly. Very hot. Yes, yes. Very hot. Okay, perfect. And Luis, how is the weather in your house? It's a, it's a pretty cold night. Okay, nice. It's a pretty cold night. Okay, excellent. So, aquí para que veamos que está de lo más extremo hasta lo más o menos, okay? Y así podemos ir usándolo con otras oraciones. Entonces vamos a ver más ejemplos ahorita. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, yo aquí puse uno. Your house is really beautiful. ¿Okay? Your house is really beautiful. Aquí lo puedo utilizar con otros adjetivos, describiendo un objeto, una cosa, perdón, un objeto, un animal, una persona o un lugar. ¿Okay? Todo depende cómo yo quiera meter eso. Y en este caso, really, sería el adverb y solo le meto, se lo meto al, al adjetivo. ¿Okay? Así que alguien más me quisiera dar ejemplo. No sé, cualquier objeto, una persona, a place. Uh -huh. Okay. 
I can I can say my car is very fast. Excellent. Uh -huh. My car is very fast. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. Another example. Mm -hmm. Another example is not extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, what? My job is somewhat hard. My job is somewhat. Uh -huh. Somewhat um, hard. hard. Hard, okay. Or difficult, right? Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Another example. She she studied studied uh, very hard. Ah, she studied very hard. Okay, excellent. Okay, and the last example, the last one. Number five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can describe a person, you can describe a place, you can describe an object. An the animal. weather in the beach. The weather in the beach is extremely hot. Excellent. Okay. The weather at the beach is extremely hot. Okay. Extremely hot. Okay, excellent. Okay, so this is how we combine adverbs and adjectives. Okay, because you can say your house is beautiful. Okay, your house is beautiful, but if you want to uh, do it in a better way, you can say your house is really beautiful. Okay, really beautiful. My car is fast. Yeah, my car is fast. My car is very fast. Very fast. My job is hard or my job is difficult. Ah, uh, my job is somewhat difficult, okay? Somewhat difficult or hard. She studied hard. Ah, she studied very hard, okay? I want to emphasize more. Whether at the beach is hot. No, it's extremely hot, okay? Extremely hot, okay? So this is how we use adverbs and adjectives, okay? Now, if we go back to the conversation, we're going to understand uh, the words in the conversation, okay? So what are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I have heard that's a really nice city. Yes, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches just, just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's, for, it's a fairly big city, but it is not too big. It's perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime, okay? Ahora se acuerdan que les mencionaba que pretty no era eh, bonito, hmm, okay? Ahora, uh -huh. se entiende, ahora se entiende por qué les decía eso, okay? Es un intensifier, solamente le estamos agregando algo más a la like. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uh, Pedro, you are Eric. Okay. And uh, Mary, you are Carmen. Let's practice, please. Okay. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beach just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not a very expensive. Price are pretty reasonable. reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, nice. Excellent. Thank you. 
And let's see, Margarita, you are Eric. And uh, let's see, uh, Maria Elena, you're Carmen. Mm. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I, I have heard that a really nice city. Yeah, it is. Uh, the weather is great, great, and there are some fantastic beach just outside the city. It is expensive there. No, it's no very expensive. Price are very reasonable. How big is the city? It's a very big city. But it's not big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I will plan a trip there sometime. Okay, perfect. And the last one, Eric. Uh, sorry, Luis, you're Eric. Okay. And I am going to be Carmen. Okay. No me faltó nadie, verdad? Todos participaron? All right. Wait, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Eric. Uh, sorry, Luis, go for it. So, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I have heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Hey okay, guys, so you did an amazing job, okay? Uh, do you have any questions? For the moment, no. For the moment, no, okay? Perfect. No. All right, so quedamos pendientes con, eh, con el acceso con la a la plataforma. Así es, sí. a la plataforma. Yes. Eh, okay. Vamos a ver qué nos dice Jonathan mañana y pues esperamos que todo nos vaya bien, ¿ok? okay. Para el momento, okay. para el momento eso no está muy difícil, para que vean que no hay que, no hay que freak out. Mm. Okay, don't freak out okay? <laughs> Así que estamos bien. Okay. Gracias a todos por hacer el tiempo, por estar acá, ¿ok? Uh, thank you so much and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you thank tomorrow, you. teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. -bye. See you. Have a good night. Next class.